Okay, this guy is being just really, really slow. Yeah, it seems to be good stuff, and audio seems to be okay, and yeah, it seems to be okay. So uh, today I have really chilled out uh, casual stream. I'm going to uh, do my sketchbook, which has been neg neglected. Like, I started this on the 30th, uh, 13th of the March 2019. That's really, really long time for my sketchbook. Rook. Yeah, if you hear some background noises, that is probably my neighbor. Uh, my neighbor is doing some renovations, and it's like apartment right behind my wall. And I'm streaming, and my table is next to the well, so those sounds made. Hi, Ruka. And also Ruka is with me. So there will be some cat sound. Cat, cat sound. <laughs> Not cat sound, dog sounds. Yeah. Ruka, Ruka, please, please, don't go there. Hey, hey. Älä mene sinne, sä et mahu sinne. Sä, sä, sä et mahu sinne pöydänä. Oh god. Uh, Ruka is now trying to... Oh, no, 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 ei, Ruka, ei, et sä oot mahusi. Ruka is trying to fit himself under my table, where he definitely isn't going to fit, because I'm in the process of moving my tables, and I have, like, full of stuff there, but, like, Ruka is... Ruka is really determined to go under my table, so he, like, tried to go there, yeah. So I had to tell him, go away from there. And I tried to cheat, see the chat. But because now I have like, you can see, my table different. Uh, this is my secretary desk. You can see the hinges here. Uh, this is the antique desk. I hope the sound is okay. I, I'm a bit worried that this may be really uh, acoustically bad decision. Because it's food and there may be some echoing. And that's I got some... Uh, what is it called? Cloth under my suppliers so they are not... Uh, making so huge sounds. I'm going to get the uh, felt cover at this whole table area, so it would be better for streaming. But the problem is that my streaming chat is on there, on my other table, this light, right next to this one, so... I hope I'm not ignoring the chat. And also my light is just... Oh! Uh, hi Lana, and hi Mikey. My <laughs> lamp, like, was just over the chat. It's so... I hate when I need to change the streaming setup and I'm like... Then just really, really disoriented at starting. But yeah, this sketchbook has been going for a year now. I have been busy, really busy year, so... I had, uh, I would say, everything else in my mind than drawing, so... That's why there's so, so many pages still left. I usually... Uh, aim my sketchbook it, the sketchbooks to be filled in one month. <laughs> this is definitely far away from that. And today I'm probably doing some something I usually do portraits. And I grabbed some tools here, but now because I have a secretary desk, this really cool desk, I have drawers right in front of me. So I can take this drawer. I hope I can take it. My tripod is on the way. And this drawer holds all my fountain pens. Well, all of these, like, I would say modern fountain pens. And uh, these drawers, when I got this desk, it's, these drawers weren't lined at all. They are, they was on the wood surface, and I lined them by myself. It's, it's actually cardboard that is lined with the uh, uh, velvet on the bottom and the sides, and I just cut it to shape, and I can like put them there and they just keep their place there so they are not permanent fixed to this rather so I can really easily replace them and clean them and take them out if I need but I have this funny thing that 
Most of my fandoms are actually empty right now because I uh, they are need of cleaning and I have been postponing that a bit. Uh, but I don't know if the Wispy has some ink. So my eco, other eco, third eco, uh, walk maybe. And this is the new moon, moon map pen I got. And I'm probably going to do a review of this one really soon. And it has some really interesting features. It has regular thumb up in it now. And it also has the glass pen nib. So I can show it. It's this one. So I can add like uh, that's the glass glass nib part of the pen. It screws out the nib and then the, this glass nib goes there. But there's couple of things that are not so great. One of them is, as you can see, there's no opening for the ink. So when I put this glass nib on the pen, it's not fanta pen anymore, it's dip pen. And also this glass nib is so thick that it does not fit on the cap. Well, cap closes, but I can hear that the cap is touching the nib really badly. So yeah, it's not perfect. And my other moment has ink as well. I think all the others are empty, or close to empty. Yeah. And one moment I'm putting my phone on the mute, so it's not like ringing, ringing in the middle of stream. I'm really happy with this new desk and it was quite a bit of work to... Uh, at first I I had to do some work for the... Like I wanted to line all the drawers and of course this has some kind of... Bit of the old furniture smell so I had to get rid of that. And it took me some... Some work. Mostly cleaning and some sanding to make... Make a uh, drawers slide bit more easier. I'm looking something that would could be work as portrait reference. I'm oh I'm pretty sure I will be really really rusted right now because I haven't been drawing for a long long time. And especially one thing that is uh, make me rust is that I haven't been like drawing anything. I've been doing bureaucracy, but I don't count that as drawing. No, I feel I can't find me. Of course, I'm not <laughs> prepared for the streaming. Mm, it seems fine. But I decided that. Uh, I don't want to do bureaucracy because I did quite many bureaucracy streams last last month. So I wanted to do some sketchbook. Also, I have a goal to fill the sketchbook. I'm I'm hopefully this month, but I can't be sure. I have. I am a bit fear that I may not have time for that because I have full time work and I have other other things. Also now I have some moving stuff happening, so definitely not the best place to try to fill sketchbook. But yeah, I'm really I try to be really relaxed about it that I have and not even try not like expecting to draw my best work because I know that I have been not drawing for a long time so oh god that neighbor start to drill please don't drill the wall oh yeah no <laughs> I'm hope it's not too loud on the stream because it's like right next to my table 
Now I can say that that ear is like definitely on the wrong place. Or if I have it like that, I would need to have the. Yeah, that's neighbor. I'm sorry. I hope it's not too bad. But I actually recently ordered some drawing books and in the hopes that I could learn some perspective. Because perspective is like my weakest point. Oh god, now it's the hammer. And I know perspective is my weak weakest point and I feel that I need some some kind of support for my technic technical drawing skills. I was also thinking to do some book reviews, but that's also sort of about those because I have I don't know how the book review would be like usable. like the format for it because it's a bit, bit, bit hard to do. I was thinking maybe I should watch some book reviews on the YouTube and see how others others do it because uh, also for the bu uh, book reviews I actually always go to the Parka blog. Uh, Parka, bl Parka blog. It's the Geo G. Uh, keeping that a blog and I find it really helpful when I'm choosing the books. And I was, I had the park of blogs open when I was deciding what books I would get and just look what the reviewer there said. I think that I is too close to the nose bridge. A bit more far, farther away. Perspective is really, really not so easy on this reference photo. Because I have been uh, hoping, hoping to do some. Uh, I do programming like as my day job and I've been actually thinking to wanted to try do some games because I enjoy gaming a lot and I feel that I've been done done some really small scale uh, game art for like my friends and stuff and it has been I like that and I feel that would be really good for like doing creative stuff and still doing some programming and it's it would be feel really good point to like go. But currently I'm feeling that my drawing skills are are not there, but I actually because I'm how would I would describe it. I'm a really technical person like uh, I'm engineer as my trade, uh, as my profession. I have a master uh, master of science in mechanical engineering so I'm really a technical person and I I think drawing also as the skill and not like a gift or anything it's it's the skill and more you draw the more you learn and lately I have been that feeling that I haven't been improving that much at one point I filled I think I filled like 10 sketchbooks in one year and I improved so much in, uh, in the drawing aspect and but for me, sadly, the weakest point is drawing di uh, digi digitally. I'm really bad at drawing digital. I almost never do it because I almost almost fail miserably. But I was 
I'm now trying to get more on the funda uh, fundamentals and really practicing a more perspective and light and shadow and bubbles and that kind of stuff. Because I feel that it would be something I enjoy. I'm not so a fan of like doing finish at artworks, even if I enjoy those as well, but I'm mostly interested to see like skill upgrades, <laughs> if I can say so. I think I'm going with the orange hair. I just recently got some Sakura Keller dolls because they have been carried here, so I'm going with those. I was really thinking this Diamond Autumn Oak would be really great for this sketch. It's one of my favorite inks, but I don't know where my pen is that has that ink inside. Mm, maybe I go with the orange. Orange gel pen. Holds really bright. Oh god. That's probably sounding horrible on the stream. Uh, let me know if it gets too bad, so I may need to end the stream if it's... I never go to wield with the drill. I feel this orange is so bright that it's like burns my eyes. <laughs> Funny. I don't know where this all, all this hair is going, but it's going somewhere. Maybe bun would be a good option. At least the hair is bright. And hmm. yep, drilling. That's that's the thing I want to hear on the like Sunday evening when I'm streaming. And for the inking part, I think I'm going with the uh, brush pen. And this is from the pen tell me that is the watercolor brush pen. I've been really wanting to get like grey inked uh, brush pen for a long time. As I personally feel that grey is grey is the color that goes well with everything. Yes, black is some, sometimes I feel it too, it's too strong, but gray is often good middle ground. This side eye should be much smaller, but not possible anymore to address it. I 
I don't know how it. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's the neighbor. It's not that late in the Finland yet, so it is not time for like silence. It's <laughs> it's just annoying when you live in an apartment that your next door uh, next door neighbors uh, renovation project are so loud. Oh, Hailey! <laughs> nice to see you. I, I was, uh, uh, I was a bit surprised because I was thinking we are pretty different time zones. So for me, it's uh, early evening. Yeah, this orange is really bright. Yeah, the, uh, the current webcam I have is the Prio one. I'm probably returning, uh, returning it. Oh god, that's that's not thrilling. Uh, I'm probably returning this webcam uh, tomorrow. It's not like I'm bought it or anything. I I, I just uh, re uh, got to loan it. So, and I have to make decision: am I going to buy this or not? And I'm going to do a final comparison with my regular... Oh, it's midday. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do a comparison between my C9 2020 and this Brio. And uh, this is my current cam. And it has been okay. And it's also able to stream in HD but I usually use it actually a little bit a little bit less than that and this new camera has much better colors because my previous webcam has really hard time to get the colors right it's often really really bad on like uh, neon colors and also like wood colors like wood somehow looks really washed out and grey on my <coughs> uh, old webcam. But I'm I'm not yet sure. At first I was uh, thinking to get this Brio, but this Brio cost something like... I think it's close to 300 uh, here. And it's currently out of stock everywhere, like everywhere. You'd, even if you like throw the cash somewhere, it's like... Nope, it, it's just... It's just gone because it's what uh, most of the companies use. So I have no idea can I, uh, am I going to change or not. My worry is that uh, camera is really expensive, and even if it's really expensive, it has these same problems with the autofocus like regular webcams, like it goes up and down if I leave it on. I have to turn it off all the time. So I'm not so sure it's the, it is really the cam I was looking for because I was hoping to get camera that I could be using for regular filming as well. This is really great quality, but so is my other webcam. If I stream, it's like it's full potential. I'm uh, looking for an extra French photo. And my iPad. Right next to me. Ruka? What you're doing? <laughs> of course, uh, Ruka has a, that one of toy that I use when we are obedience training. And I usually don't let him play with that. And of course now. He has gotten gotten that toy somewhere, probably on the like. I put it really high up, but he has still managed to snatch it. And now he is like lying on the ground and having the toy right next to him. <laughs> so yeah. But I'm going to let him have have it now. I'm I'm not going to take it away because it's yeah, it's his toy. I'm using this really cool Ruskifi inspiration stuff, but I'm not going on them. 
But for me it has been It's been pretty hard to like do any filming today because my table is it isn't a state of mess like huge mess I have been moving to this uh, secretary de desk and my regular desk is still on my left side uh, I have now like two desks and it's at first I was thinking to uh, transfer my PC also on this secretary desk but it's really really hard to do like <coughs> i'm actually going to sketch quickly because i'm not sure do i use right term but in the essence the secretary desk uh, look like this it has like upper self and then oh i'm really bad I'm drawing this one, but there is like uh, drawers, and this here opens up. It's got like whoop, and it forms the table here, and then here in the middle, uh, I have. Oops. I have 12 little drawers here and uh, empty space here in the middle and it's like this is the whole paper surface so I think it's called secretary desk in English uh, but problem with this kind of table is that <coughs> this part here is pretty high up it's not uh, like uh, it's probably 13 centimeters from the table surface so I have no way where to put my computer monitor because if I would put it up there it would be too high up and I can't clamp anything here because there's no lip to clamp it because there's the, uh, the this cover goes back there so I can't clamp it anywhere so I have I can't use this as my main desk. Also, I was hoping at some point to change to use only laptop, but it's it's not possible. And one of the reasons is it because I do st I still do enjoy uh, doing games and stuff. And also, if I, uh, because I uh, do. Yeah, some Unity programming. I'm studying that right now on my own time. So it takes some. I need powerful PC, and I think there is a laptop, <laughs> laptop, laptop that would be deliver enough power for that need. Also, streaming is really, really hard for computers. So probably would bake my laptop in no time. I'm a bit pumped that there's this uh, shadow coming from previous page. I, I'm not sure I have been talking about this before, but uh, reason actually. Uh, why I'm why drawing portraits become my uh, like comfort uh, comfort zone is that at one point I was really bad at drawing them. I I just couldn't do them, so I decided to I grabbed really really big and thick sketchbook and decided that I will draw it full of portraits from reference and to learn that way. And I also read Loomis' book and some other books on the matter. And after feeling that sketchbook and rubbing so many heads 
uh, it's actually become the thing I like to draw. Yeah, it, it really took a while to fill that sketchbook, but I really enjoy that I can usually pull out pretty decent portrait. It's just like the one, one drawing skill I have. I, I'm not like super good. I don't. I can't capture the likenesses and perspective is way off, and the 3D form is really weak. But I still feel that it's it's like the one point I'm comfortable to draw, and that's also make me think that something on the like character design would be really right in my alley. Uh, I am also really creative a person, like I do, I've read no novels every year, three times. <laughs> three times a year I al always take participate to the camp as well, so... I'm really like... I enjoy creating worlds and stuff, so... I would feel that uh, game art would be really on my alley as well, and like storytelling and stuff. But it's not easy interested uh, interested to break into because it's currently really popular. And I also feel that I have pretty uh, for me as well. It's not easy to switch uh, job because I have the a pretty high education education and <coughs> it's job that I also like. I I like to do programming. It would be a bit different to be in the different field because I I can't go to school again because I well it, it it's considered that I have too good education to get applied to in any education programs in Finland. We have a bit different system because we don't pay to uh, tuition fees. It's 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 different. I also need something to support myself while studying, so that's also a bit issue. Oh, grocery order. Do you have like you can order the groceries from the like uh, shop and they are like delivered on the door? That sounds really awesome because uh, even before this whole mess happened, I'm I'm the person that hates go to grocery shopping. I I hate go to grocery stores. I hate that there's so much stuff to choose from, and I feel it's. And I also don't like to go in the crowds. It's not because of this whole COVID happening. It's like <laughs> I generally hate going in the crowds. I I don't like being around huge amounts of people. I it's really I get really anxious really easily. So ordering uh, food food online would be really really great for me. I think we have similar service in Finland, but it's it's pretty expensive. And now I'm using Sailor Fude de Manne. And I don't know why, but I got the pink version. And I can tell you I'm not a pink person. I, I don't like pink. I don't like uh, pink at all. And I can show that it's really not <laughs> sitting with my other fountain pens that are all green, because I love the bright green. And then I have this one pastel pink Sailor Fude pen. It was way cheap, uh, cheaper than the black version, that, that is why I got it from the eBay, but it's pink. Oh, hi, Bru. Bru, Bru, Bru. 
I'm I'm sorry, I remember hearing your name and I don't remember it. I'm my name memory is like really bad. I'm really bad at remembering names. It's it, it's uh, at work it's really I get embarrassed about it really often because people remem I remember my name really easily and then uh, uh, I don't rem remember names of my co-workers. Yeah, I have actually the same thing that my uh, my closest uh, closest grocery store is really small. It's not that expensive, but I don't like to go there because, especially because I like to do my grocery shopping on for a week in advance. Like today, I went for to do the groceries and I bought uh, everything I need for next week, so I don't need to go grocery shopping at all during the week. I save time by doing that and also I just I feel it's better to shop on the Sundays because there's less people. Uh, worst time to go in the grocery store is uh, Friday after work because then there'll be like everybody. Oh, I tried. I tried to rem remember that. But proof is fine. Proof, proof, proof. Yeah, proof. And uh, also the thing is that because I'm Finnish and in Finland, uh, everything is read at least as it is written. So I pronounce people names sometimes really weirdly. And I have this funny thing that when I'm speaking English, I find it hard to pronounce. Uh, Finnish names and some words because it's like my mouth is in a different like mode. It's really hard. It, it's funny, but I have heard it's actually really common when you pick like uh, more than one language to s switch them up. The hair is looking really funny. I'm currently using this food and it's pretty upright, so I'm getting the inner lines but <laughs> yeah yeah, I have the same thing. I usually remember my co-workers' cars, because I'm quite passionate about the cars, so it's really funny to go on the work and say, oh, it was that other, uh, other Audi TT driver, <laughs> and everybody's like, what? <laughs> yeah, it, it's like, I remember everything else than the names, but I'm glad to know I'm not alone. Oops, I really. Oh. I have some time to get used to this uh, food and it. I find it a bit unpredictable. Mikey, oh, that sounds. That sounds really hard. Like remember hundred names because I I I have hard time to remember like even ten names, like the team I work on. I I feel that I can't even remember those. But usually in the work I can get away because people are uh, having name patches, but not where I work. They <laughs> they don't have any, so it's really really hard to remember them.
yeah, it's it's hard to remember the names. I'm I have tried every trick that I have heard, and I still remember all of the people' cars, not their <laughs> names, and it's. It is just, just, and also I have hard time to uh, remember like information I have heard. I have much easier time to remember people's name if I see it or have to write it down. <laughs> but just hearing it doesn't help at all. Yeah, Lana, I have. I'm the same. Like I tell, on my work, I tell that I I'm bad with names. That please bear with me because, but it's really common in Finland. <coughs> like forget the names, and I, I'm not so sure how it goes to other uh, countries, but in Finland it seems that there are so many similar named people. Like if you have first name, it's almost guaranteed that you have uh, similar named uh, coworker, especially. In the man names, it seems that everybody there's so so many under the same name on my work, and it doesn't make them remembering them any easier. And it's like it was really funny at my work because I have counted that there are at least three uh, named Matti, because Matti is really common Finnish name. And there's like three of them, at least. <laughs> Sometimes I feel I would be <laughs> that it could be like if I forget somebody's name, I could yes, it would be Matti because it's like one of those names that are really common. But I'm lucky that I'm not on the not in the work that I should remember people in people's names. I'm. So I'm doing the software. I I need to remember the code, not the names. Only place when I need to know the names is when I'm need to ask help or something, and I get to I'll go ask that person. I'm like, mm, I don't I don't know who they are. When I was new, it was it it was easier because I could be like, oh, I don't know who you are talking about. Uh, but now I have been there for a while, and I can't even use that excuse anymore. I'm a bit worried that this would happen may take a while to get used to. I still feel it sometimes makes this really thick mark when I'm not expecting it to do it. Even if I know it's how the like ability to do that. But it's funny that when we go to obedience classes with Ruka, there is one, <laughs> there is one, like, instructor that doesn't remember people's names, but he always remembers the dog names. Oh, that didn't go, didn't go well. No, well, I hope I can fix that area. I was actually uh, planning to do a whole, uh, whole Inktober with this one, but because now how the things have going, I'm not doing the Inktober at all, so... I'm probably doing the Caturde, uh, not Caturde, uh, Cattober, but I'm drawing the bunnies, and it's going to be Pantober, but I'm using cat, those cat-related prompts. So I'm seeing how that goes. 
uh, trying to do like bunnies with cat prompts. Sadly, we, uh, we don't have that. It would be really handy. It would be really handy. Uh, and it's, re it's really funny that in in Finnish working culture, uh, people usually don't like to take photos taking, so they don't have like that kind of director. But it would be really handy. Like I could see it actually make some things work faster because I don't didn't need to like I could just take the photo or like where they are sitting and where's the office and go there and don't need to bother like co-worker to show show it to me. I have other pen with the food in it but it's I'm I'm not that much used to it because it's it's really heavy pen and it's Chinese pen and it has really scratch in it, but this sailor one is really nice. I like how it can cover things black so easily. Yeah, it would be many bunnies. Bunnies in the cat, uh, cat helper. And also, I got the idea uh, because I was thinking what is the subject I enjoy most drawing, and it's bunnies. And I inked up, not inked up, but uh, uh, pornography work I made, there was two pennies. And in my previous Inktobers I have had quite often translated prompts to the bunnies. I'm trying to get a white gel pen from somewhere and fix that mistake. I found like three. <laughs> That's rare because often it's like if I try to find like something on my pen case, it's like I can't find any. And these are the new. I I'm not so sure is this so new on the other parts of the world, but in the Finland they are new. They are the jelly rolls white with have the like size. So I'm going with the thickest one. Yeah, that actually sounds really like a smart idea to do because that would save save some work time and also probably help with the mix up because sometimes when there's uh, people with the same first names, there happens some uh, some mix up. And now another I forget to ink the other I, other circle. But yeah, I'm warming up. I can feel the burden. My mic cord is right on the. Yeah, it's actually in the frame. Oops. Because usually my mic uh, cord is rolled behind my monitor, but now I can't, and it's coming all pretty far away. So I need to have it there. I definitely didn't get the likeness of the model I draw. Oh yeah, full name like same. It's it's really rare, but it happens.
I'm not thinking to the switch step. I'll try some different pens, but I'm to sketch with my trusty old pencil. <laughs> Robert, Robert. <laughs> yeah, actually, Finnish is sometimes funny because uh, there's not that many like words that can be first names and last names. But most confusion comes when you have somebody that has last name that is like clearly really common, like male first name, and then the first name that can be male or female. So then you are like a bit confused at <laughs> who you need to be like looking for. <laughs> And seven sometimes. Uh, because in Finnish it's sometimes it's presented like the last name first and then, uh, then the first name. Or sometimes it's the vice versa. So it's it's really different. But usually it's good to look from the emails because in the emails they are always like first name, last name and after that the company. Because it's really really hard sometimes to figure out if the last name last name is something that can be used as the surname as well. Yeah, no, that was the first name. I, I'm getting this mixed up so badly right now. It has been a long day and I feel that my brain is just like going to sleep. Also, I had pretty hard migraine attack today, and it started right early in the morning when I got got open my eyes. It's like, oh, I gonna have migraine today, and it just it luckily went away with uh, medicine, but it was still troublesome and. I always feel when I got the migraine, I feel that even if the migraine attack itself goes away, but I, uh, but still feel, I feel that I'm not full, like, it leaves that kind of like brain fog after it. And it can some, uh, it depends on the severity of the attack, but if it's like mild, it can, it just lasts a day, but if it's, if it's really severe migraine attack, I can feel that brain fog like can be even a couple of days presented before it goes away. Even if the headache is gone, the fog is still there. Oh, those eyes look horrible. It's definitely one of those areas I need to improve. And also I want to have some variety that I could draw. There's currently it's pretty much only this similar flat inked portrait I draw. And that's why I, when I read the books, I also uh, ordered a sketch uh, sketch encyclopedia that how many many uh, I think it's over nine hundred subject in three steps. So I'm probably co uh, going to trying to go through them all. And I hope that would be give me some edge to like draw more variety of stuff. And also there's one book of creature design because at one point I was really into creature design. I haven't done those in a long, long time.
Uh, yeah, it's uh, in in Finland. There's a couple of those uh, names, and I was just trying to get even one of my head. Uh, one of them is uh, Ami, which can be fe uh, male or female. And then there are some really old Finnish names, but those uh, those I uh, mm, I'm not finding so often. But foreign uh, names also are pretty common here nowadays, so they can sometimes get really confusing. But Finland has pretty their own like naming uh, things, so usually you can tell by the name are they from Finland or not. I'm trying to do only minimal sketching right now because I'm planning to uh, sketch and do more, more, uh, more with the inking. Because before I had the break on the sketchbook, I usually did like go straight with uh, fountain pen. But now I feel a bit too intimidated by that. So I'm start starting slowly. I need to sip of water. Also, I was setting my tripod a uh, different place than usual. Usually it has all three legs on the table. And they are all like in the short position, but now my tri tripod is like one leg is on the table, yeah, it's on kind of it's on the frame, and one leg is on the floor, and third leg is resting against the wall. It's not like it's not fully extended, so it hits the wall. So it's pretty pretty solid, but I'm pretty uh, a bit worried that how it's holding. I'm going with this pen. And this pen has weird nip. Finnish belly dancer. Oh, that sounds interesting. Let's say that you couldn't go there. It's uh the time we are living it's uh it's really sad because I can I hear of uh most from the like some events that people have waited like months or years and that they are like cancelled and they can't go it's it's sad i'm a bit hesitant because uh tomorrow i will start uh, kickboxing again and i have been thinking it's is, is it the wise thing to do but currently in finland the whole situation is going really peacefully so i'm probably going to take the class even if it's like really close contact, but I'm going there with my uh, boyfriend and I'm only person that I'm going to have close contact with is him. So it should be generally pretty safe. So but this fountain pen nip, it's weird, it's extra fine. And when I go up and down, it's pretty fine. But look what happens when I go sideways. It's thicker in the sideways. <laughs> okay, I, I'm not into dancing, so I didn't know that. It just feels a bit weird. So if you compare the up and down stroke versus the side stroke, there's clear a difference. It's like This is marked as regular extra fine. So 
I was not expecting it to have this kind of line variation. And I'm not sure do I like it or not. Because it feels a bit something something a bit funny in this nip. It also not, isn't that smooth. And also I'm a bit bummed that it's not extra fine like this is Moonman. Or it should be Moonman. And this is my other other Moonman that has also extra fine. So you can see this is much finer. And it's finer fine in every way. And not, not like Tigger and the other. With this pen I find one really funny thing about this. Like when you hold it that way, because there's no cap ring, there's no clip, it's really hard to tell which way to open this one. I know it has a screw cap, so I'm just screwing it from the both side. Yeah, that sounds good, like, uh, because I personally feel that having everybody in full lockdown is its not feasible in the long run. It will be taxing into mental health for the people and it's also for bad for the business as well. Even if I personally think that uh, business object, uh, object is not so important, but If it can be done safely, I think it's okay. Because I know most of those that have some hobbies, like organized hobbies, I, I know they take the safety really seriously. Like in one of the, like where we go with the Rukate, openness trials uh, we had the, the same they also do some agility uh, with me and Ruka we don't go into agility activities but they have agility uh, classes as well and also some agility competitions and they are actually held, holding one and they are providing mask for everybody <laughs> Not for dogs, but for the handlers and doing sanitizing stuff and everything. But I'm not so sure about this pen. And it's... I like it for how it's working now. Like this nip is... it's fine. It's not like the smoothest one, but... It still feels like I am not so into this thing that it's grinned a bit funnily. Because I have a feeling it's it's not I know it's called architect grind when you have a nip that has a bigger side stroke, but I'm pretty sure that this Chinese nip doesn't ha isn't uh, grinded like that. I'm pretty sure it's probably ha done by mistake or something. It would be really uh, interesting to take a look of this under the microscope. Because I have a feeling it might be. Uh, bent a bit upwards because that can create effect that it's like wider in the side stroke and it? yeah it's actually it actually is like when I'm looking at the other side it goes like this and then it goes bloop and it looks really crudely showing like that from the side wheel so it's it is a bit turned up it's weird and compared to like my other moonman, yeah, and this other moonman has like 
completely flat. But it's not enough this to make it uh, food. Because with the food, it's the really the upturn is really like really pronounced. No, this one is more like rounded off. Then lap, uh, I'm I also need to test out the pen with the glass nib version, but I'm a bit pumped that it's not be able to like hold hold the ink and then and still use the glass nib because I can know that it's doable. Like having glass nib in the fountain but not in the dip pen. It's po uh, positive in the dip pen as well. Yeah, I can feel this pen has a little bit scratchy side stroke. I'm not so picky about my pens. I know some fountain pen users want to have like glass smooth fountain pens, but I personally like more the extra fine nibs. So I know it's like trade off between the smoothness and the fineness. Because it's almost impossible to find smooth extra fine nib. Oh, the nose went really wrong. <laughs> oh god, it's 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 look hideous. Yeah. I I, I was just, just thinking, I was just inking and forget well, thinked the lines weren't finished. But I personally find it cool that it can be like... Uh, I can laugh to my mistakes, even if they happened in the live stream and being like, oh god, that's horrible. I, I don't like having... I don't have a need to only show like perfect works. Is it sketchbook and it's for practice? And it's really hard to talk and count at the same time. I personally feel that it's it's one of those tasks that it's they are really hard to combine. And I have no idea what ink I have in this pen because I have I just took my ink samples and just dumped something in this pen. I didn't even look what this was. I just like uh, decided that I want to uh, have the green ink here and just put random green ink there in this pen. And. I can show you that. Oh, I mean to the ear. Which is also a bit off. I can show you my ink sampler drawer because it's right in front of me. Here are all my ink samples. So if I say like I have no idea what screening this is, you can because it can be any one of these or that even. Well, that's just darker. There is green. I have I have many ink samples, and reason why I accumulated this much of ink samples is because I I was actually long time subscriber for the Apple Boom Pen and. Uh, Ink experiment, I think it was ink, ink experiment or something, and 
I got uh, five examples delivered to me every month and it didn't cost that much to be shipped even and I really like it, I really like it and I would be still ordering these inks every month even if it's meant I will be filled with my drawers like over overfill it and have many many examples and more inks than I could probably ever be able to use but I really like it but because I have dog and Ruka is here all day and when the post arrives this can fit on the uh, post thing you have on the door because in, uh, in Finland in the apartment complex we have the post thing on our door like they push our post inside the apartment from that opening I'm missing really vital word here but yeah we have like the small opening that has like a uh, flap on there and you can like put post through that so the post comes comes like inside the apartment and the problem is that I have a dog in the apartment that is really poor in the mid middle of the day and of course if something comes up from the inside he will inspect that and play with that so it's like it could be it ends in the disaster uh, I have some ink swatch cards I think they went in the disk drawer. No, they were not there. Yeah, no, not there. No, that's empty and there's my window in front of us. But yeah, I have done some really small ink samples, and I do only ink samples for the ink bottles I have. But for these kind of sample vials, I only. Uh, they used to come with this sticker asset in the top, but at some point they stopped doing that, so I uh, glued it by myself and have the inks spot like ink swatch there. But I don't do ink swatches because I usually just take some random ink and I I don't feel I I don't do that much color correction. Like now I get to do this with green one. And also, I mostly use this uh, this for writing, so it doesn't matter. Actually, now I was thinking I could do something really fun. Nope, that's wrong drawer. I have this small... Small drawer here. Where is my... These inks came with my dip pen. Uh, glass dip pen. And I have no idea what colors these are. And how these work and this seems to be glittery there's yellow glitter going on these are not fond of inks the smaller ones so i'm going to use them in the dip pen i'm using then my glass pen i hope this fat nib can fit here hoping it's really small oh yeah now i remember why i didn't like to use this these have the uh, this really tall side gaps on them yeah that can fit there so first I need to shake it it's as you can see it's glittery but this one I will swatch out because I have no idea what these are in the color and this says ink axle 2 it can be anything I probably reach there but it's some kind of red and I'm trying not to make mess on my table so on I don't think the name here it's Ink X L 
too. And I'm not even trying to write the gun sheet has. It's not that much sparkly. The sparkle is more, more on the ink than the writing. So let's draw, draw something orange with this one. Uh, carrot. Carrot is really, really good for this one. Because they are what bunnies usually eat. So. Drawing carrot. Uh, uh, but as you can see, the glass nib hold pretty much um, quite a lot of ink. It's more than your uh, typical dip pen, so you don't need to be dipping it all the time. And it can be, if you like using inks that are not fond open safe, the dip pen, it, uh, glass dip pen is a really great option for that because you can use like um, watercolor or anything you can it's liquid and usable you can use it on that pen and this is really easy to clean even if you have the uh, like even using the Indian ink it's possible I'm leaving space for the hair for it because I'm probably getting green at some point what else is orange mm. Maybe I'm just drawing some kind of circles. But it's uh, with these glass nib pens, they need to be rotated a little bit good to get the, all the those crevices emptied. Like now it's running out, but when I uh, rotate it, it's still have some ink left. We are drawing altar carrot here as well. So I feel that the one carrot is long. But yeah, glass nipples are a bit different because they have the they are harder uh, in the nip part and they are really really different than like regular fountain pens they can get really smooth but glass nip are not that smooth and I'm cleaning this one so I'm not contaminating the ink you can also clean this by dipping it in the water and then shaking it off but because I'm I don't have like source of water here, so I will use that. Put the cap back on. Let's see if I can find the number one there. No, that's ah, there. And it has some like gold sparkling. And this one, what? This was a part of some of my one of my whole videos, if I remember correctly, and and they came with uh, this sparkly glass pen. <coughs> and if you search from the eBay like glass pen with inks or glass pen set with inks, <coughs> it's pretty sure are these inks. These are, uh, weren't that expensive at all. This is yellow. Oh, this is pretty good yellow ink. Usually yellow ink is really faint and not legible, but this is really bright. It's a uh, really nice middle, middle yellow, I would say. Well, something yellow. Yeah, this one is like 
I don't know what is wrong with this pen because this one has the front part way too big and it's really hard to handle and hold. But this one I like. It's this has really fat nip and it's like really but it's short and better to hold. I have a third one that is probably lost in the branch right now because I haven't been hearing it. I need to send message to the eBay seller that it didn't, it didn't arrive here. I'm surprised these inks are surprisingly good. Like usually yellow ink is really weak, but this one is, it's like it's yellow and it's it shows up on the paper as well. Another thing I actually like more than the other pen is that it has it's nicer to hold because this one is a bit harder for holding. I like from one more lemon here. Because it would be nice to have like flat area here. Now I have to hold on the grooves and it's it's not nice. And the bit is quite deep on the ink, so I'm not using the pen fully. And those are some bunny sounds on the background. And when I'm cleaning the nip with the dry cloth, I go with the one groove at a time. And I have the cloth, cloth there between and I go with my nail on the every, every groove there is. I'm trying to get it really clean so I'm not contaminating things. But these are nothing fancy nor expensive inks, so I'm not so worried if I have some cross contamination here. These things are really pretty. They are really small, they are 7 millimeters only, so they probably don't last that long, but I think they're really nice, like there was 12 inks in the set, so I don't complain. And for cheap ink, even if they have the oh, I got the wrong fingers. Even if they're Glitter is really weak, I don't mind because I'm not not so fan of everything sparkling. <laughs> this is like really common with the using fondant pen or dip pens having hand inks on hand. Yeah, this was number three. And it's not reddish tone. I think I'm going to draw strawberries. <laughs> you can probably spot the uh, theme here. I'm really bad at drawing strawberries actually because I I never draw any kind of anything other than the portraits and but that's the one thing I want to change that. Going through the sketch encyclopedia, I hope I can a little bit expand what I can draw. Because if I want to uh, do some game art for myself, or sometime, sometime in the future for the for job, I need to. You need to be able to draw anything, basically. 
and I'm drawing it there. Hair part of the, not hair, uh, the leaf of the strawberries later. Maybe I can do the circles as well. It's really sad that I'm actually allergic to strawberries. And it wasn't always like that. I used to be able to eat them. And I'm a bit pumped that I can't eat them anymore. Because I like them. I, I like anything. I like the sweet taste. Especially something like strawberry ice cream or strawberry like cake or something. I really enjoy. No, the pen is clean. I'm actually really want to try to. <laughs> These caps are annoying. They are really hard to operate. Now we need to find number four. That's five, six, four. Which is pink. I'm not a fan of pink. This seems to be really hot pink. Yep. A really, really pink. Screaming pink. Hmm. Could be pink. Raspberries. They are pinkish. And they are something I can eat. Yeah, but they are a bit harder to get than the strawberries. I need to go no, a lot harder because I can just go and buy them, but meaning that they don't <laughs> they are not so commonly found than strawberries. I find it funny because in the most illustrations, uh, the raspberry uh, raspberry has the top. But actually, when you are picking the raspberry, you almost never get that top because it's uh, if it's when the raspberry is ready, it's really is it comes off the top part, and they're actually hollow inside. Now we're getting the green, I just have like drawing the tops for everything. I'm just adding these circles this, uh, because I have added them other as well. And that was Ruka walking past. Yeah, it's pink. Not my cup of tea. It's really hard to clean this because the nip is actually so sharp that it can uh, come through the 
cloth, like I can poke it. Putting the gas back on and the next one. I bet the next one is blue, orange, purple, because it seems to be these teams. Uh, this seems to be in rainbow or order. No, it's another pink. That's sad. The ink number four says it's different than the pink. It says to be. I should be able to read those kanjis, but I forget them. I've forgotten. Because at one point I was studying Japanese and I was really good at reading kanji. But I was like seeing there go like pattern and go, this go more purplish, but oh, nope. Let's see what color this one is. No. Oh. So this is then like the middle red. Right? It's number five. This is like the bloody red. The green middle. Middle one. Hmm. This is more raspberry. Uh, the strawberry color than the number three. Number three is a bit uh, musky. Muted. Mm, so I'm drumming tomatoes. When I got these things, I I was really skeptical about these ones because I was thinking these may be really. Uh, like boring colors, but these seem to be okay. And um, yeah, they have really, uh, really little that glittery thing going on. But don't mind; it's it's still ink. And I, I'm probably going to use this in my sketchbooks because I'm enjoying this glass nib pen, and this seems to work well on that. But I wouldn't put this in, in the fountain bells because I don't know how it would be handled. Now my favorite brand is probably Diamine. Because Diamine makes really great inks. They have they make fountain pen inks. But they have a really huge selection of inks. And they are having many different colors. And they are not they are not like premium inks, they uh, their price go sadly up every year, but they are not like huge, hugely expensive. And they still have some special inks like glitter inks and sheening inks. And most of my inks are from Diamine. Also, next week will be coming out one of my videos that will be my top five fa uh, favorite inks and i can give a little hint that my favorite ink of those uh, one of them is diamond And it's one of those uh, diamond inks I use it quite often. I just recently got a full bottle of it. Because now I have so many uh, sample vials, I try not to go and buy full bottles of ink. Because bottle of ink lasts pretty long time for fundamentals. Most uh, full bottle is usually 50 ml or 60 ml, so. And where else go? Uh, five. So I'm needing the six. No, that's ten. Six. Oh, we're going to Greece. 
That's good. I can drop the tops. It's sparkly. It looks really pretty and sparkly on the bottle itself, but not when it's applied on the paper. My hands will be ink stained tomorrow. I'm a bit worried about using these inks on my table because this is really antique table. It's it's over 200 years old, like really old. Oh, this is pretty color. I can really feel that this is like my top favorite. Yep, this is so nice. I love this kind of bright, bright green colors. Now I can go and uh, draw the tomato tops. And also for the strawberry. My stra uh, strawberries look a bit sick because they are so dark tones. They look okay when they were there was not any brighter color available, but now they look a bit funny. And for greens, I think I probably go just for the salad. And salad is something I use, uh, I eat regularly, I almost every day as lunch. So there's this funny salad that is actually in shape of, it's it's like a ball, ball of salad. It's not ke uh, kale, it's, it's salad. It's icebergs are like so salad. So I find it funny that it's like round. And Ban Ban's favorite salad is Romain salad. He doesn't like any other salad. On only Romain salad is it's good for him. He he only likes that. And Romain salad grows like this. It has long, narrow leaves. I don't know how it's... Uh, because in Finland, all most of the salad and also like parsley and that kind of uh, other greenery, they are sold in little... They have a big little container, like a little pot that they are growing, and they are sold in them. But it makes them really easy that if you uh, buy one, you can, uh, when you have used, you can stick it on the ground or in the soil and it will grow there. And, oops, <laughs> I have that way. A mint and citron melissa and basil growing on my windowsill. Next number is seven. Um, I see. Oops. Oh, this is even prettier. It seems to be more yellow. I I'm a bit confused how they number these ones. Like, it's confusing. I would be... I was expecting them to be like rainbow water. Yeah, this is actually more of my favorite color. <laughs> it's much nicely to the pen. Hmm. It reminds me of color of olives. So maybe I draw in toes. Oh, that doesn't look like olive at all. It, it, it's too too round.
they look like olives. I forgot the round circleting is there. And the olives itself look like round, so. Yeah. Maybe I do these circles there. I like to keep my sketchbook pages full and I often draw this more like nonsense on the background, like scribbles. <laughs> yeah, apple branches, yeah. Pan Pan loves those too. He's like, he loves them. But it's really hard to get into Finland because uh, apple trees aren't, um, they don't grow that well in here, so they are pretty hard, hard to find. I used to get them from my uh, co-worker because he was growing apple, tre uh, apple trees. <laughs> but <laughs> actually he lost his uh, apple trees because uh, he had wild hairs harass, going on the trees and e <laughs> eating all the uh, branches. <laughs> It was so funny. So it's like uh, I was thinking if I would have apple trees on my yard, I wouldn't mind like rabbits go to eat it. It's like it's okay, it's okay. I I could actually imagine growing uh, apple trees just for rabbits. Uh, yeah, pretty far. I'm. I'm actually from Lapland, uh, from Rovaniemi, so it's like in the Arctic Circle area. But now I'm live in the like 200 kilometers down, so quite middle of the Finland. Not not in not in the middle of Finland in the sense, uh, yeah, it's it's northern part of the Finland. We can cl uh, grow apple trees there, but they don't uh, work that well. <laughs> yeah, they are. They are like oh, everybody's favorite. Oh, more green! I'm happy that there's three greens, because sometimes when you're getting like ink selection or paint selectors, there's like really many reds and blues and then there's like one green. Oh, I got so much ink on my hands that I'm like stained. Um, this is more darker green. And this is ink number eight. I don't know why I wrote that XL. I don't know where it comes from. It's probably the maker because Bottles are definitely not XL. They are seven millimeters. They are tiny. Hmm. Something darker green. I I will draw this. I think I'm going to draw some herbs. This could be partially if I would be better at drawing them. I actually really uh, like parsley. I like to eat it straight from the herb itself. And uh, but Pan Pan doesn't like parsley, so I don't get parsley. Uh, Pan Pan likes basil, so I have the basil on my windowsill. I hope that I get the black at some point so I can draw the small plastic box for these ones. Hmm. Also the one half that grows like this and it tastes like a little bit like onion. Onion grass?
Oh, that sounds good. One man would be really happy as, as well as having a dropper. Uh, I usually buy him um, bananas. And when I eat banana, I always leave a little bit for bun bun. And also, I try to get him uh, the Roman salad and the uh, basil. And also, he has been uh, having taste for mint. So I try to give him a little bit of herbs. He has really sensitive stomach, so he, he can't eat much of them. But every time I give him food, I have little pieces of those herbs there. I'm interested about the next color. And I have guessed it would be blue. But it's weird that we are going on the 8 and there are 12 inks left and there are 3 greens and 3 reds, 1 orange, 1 yellow, that I understand. But there's not that many green, uh, blues and blue is really traditional ink color. So there are 4 ink left and there's probably one is the black, I assume. So. Hmm. Next is number nine. Yeah. This looks turquoise. Really pretty turquoise. <laughs> yeah, I get uh, carrot tops for ban ban as well. And because here, especially in the summer, there used to be stores uh, that sell them on the market. And I would go on the market and ask just for the tops, because most of that buy carrots just cut them off. So, Bunny Bunny got free tops. And sometimes on my local grocery store, they also have those carrot tops and bottoms there. And most people just like rip the tops off, so I just collect the tops on the a little plastic bag and I ask on the uh, on the checkout that they get, uh, how much I have to pay for this, and they usually like, no, you can just take them. This is really pretty. This is like sky blue, and I can't think any wedgie that is blue. Well, let's draw water bottle then. Even if water is actually not blue, it's quite clear, but let's pretend it's cartoon water that is always blue. And those were Ruga sounds, he just walked past, right past to me. But I feel like I don't need to apolo apologize for my dog sound. Because I find this really funny that sometimes I get really mean comments, well, actually only once, but sometimes uh, I got comment that <laughs> my dog is making it really hard to follow my stream because he's walking on the background, that I should like, I shut him to the other room, which is not what I want to do because he's a really social dog and he likes to be with me. And it's not that much of the distraction for my option to have something on the walking on the background because people have lives like <laughs> outside of YouTube and not everybody can have like dedicated streaming studio so I'm streaming in my living room Roka <laughs> he was taking something he supposed not to touch so he just like stopped and looked at me like what I didn't do anything What you have got there? Oh, you bring it to me. What you have there? Oh, it's your shoe ball. Oh. <laughs> it's funny, like, if Ruka finds something, he uh, comes and shows it to me. But he doesn't, he don't give it to me. He, like, shows that, oh, I have this, but you can't have it. 
usually funny. I think it's a very common targeting. Yeah, I find that really funny that like some people just if somebody finds usually distracting my dog walking background, yeah. Dog will be walking on my background because I don't want to shut him on the other door. And that would be impossible because Luca can open all the doors, so... Anyway, he's like... He is part of the package. This blue is really lovely. This is something I could see, like... Using quite a f quite much. Oh, actually, this reminds me of really fighting. Uh, on the work, I saw... One... It's like a bundle of cords that come from the machine it's like i think it was on the sensor and i was really fascinated the color selection of the court it was really inspired there was the hot pink uh, then there was really bright turquoise white and petrol blue and that was really inspiring color scheme i was like i went to the work around that <laughs> and yeah it was like bundle of course that i was looking at the colors but I find it really interesting, like, inspiration can come in weird places. Okay, let's go to the next color. This is purple. Like, seriously, it's definitely isn't going to be blue. So I like only one blue ink, but that's really pretty blue ink. I don't complain, but it's funny. Because usually when you're getting inks, there's so many different blues that that really basic, what is called, royal blue, that is everywhere, it's like everywhere, like bla uh, black away. So this is purple. Yeah, it's definitely not blue, it's purple. But I don't, yeah, I like purple as well. I think purple is my next favorite color enter color spectrum. It's really nice, but it's funny that there's only one blue and it's pretty light, it's turquoise blue. I was expecting at least to have a bit more blues. And I think I can draw eggplant with this one. And I actually like uh, purple so much that it was the reason I chose the color for this desk to be purple. So this desk have the purple lines on the drawers and I will get the really thick felt on the this surface. And actually the color of the felt was called aubergine, so it's like eggplant. Eggplant color. But <laughs> I find it really funny because it was translated into Finnish. And in the Finnish, uh, uh, eggplant is munakoiso. And muna means egg. It can also mean something else, which I'm not saying on the stream, but I'm just leaving you to. I'm a professor who guess that. So it's like a really funny word to have. Oh, welcome back, Lee. It's, it's like, I like to do these kind of pages on my sketchbook. Having to have like something else than drawings because and these kind of pages are those that I most probably will come back because I have all the swatches right next to here. Hi, Shadow of Color. Nice to see so many people on my stream. I'm, uh, I was really today thinking about the streaming and uh, it's hard time to choose what I would do because last month I had this, uh, I had the bureaucracy going on and this month I decided I want to do something different so probably inking and also I will have probably some fun 
related videos as well because I will have the my top five inks and then I will have the uh, Moonman this this one uh, review and probably going to review this sailor as well and I have be ha will be doing the glass pen video which will be featuring fountain pens and this glass pen also and yeah I try to uh, cram some yeah strokers are nice um there's two inks left and I'm I'm really hmm, surprised at what these colors can be because I have one blue and all the greens are like after each other so I'm I think they have some consistency in the color so they're not second blue I'm thinking there may be black and maybe gray or silver silver would be really awesome also gold so let's see what's number 11 I I ha honestly I have no idea this colors because I only swatch one of them and I was like, oh it's another purple really funny they have one blue and two purples and three greens this is the odd selection but yeah it's not like you need to be mixing or anything on these ones so it's it different in that sense but still it's really odd selection really odd especially because blue is really traditional ink color I have happened to open the cap I don't want to spill the ink hmm this is more yeah it's colder purple and it's number 11 uh, Ruka uh, Ruka hey <coughs> no 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 don't don't catch that fly don't don't Ruka, hey, hey. Mm -mm. I I have to uh, tell my dog not to catch the fly because, uh, as I said in the beginning, I'm in process of switching tables and I have quite a bit of art supplies in my uh, floor and there is also some class items and there was a fly. Uh, going around and Ruka was like hmm I'm going to catch that and I can tell Ruka is not a small dog he is uh, white shepherd so <clears throat> when he jumps it's like yeah it's pretty big jump and stuff will fly around so I'm glad that he didn't jump oh he's looking at me but yeah he's really cute dog what else is purple than uh, aubergine, the eggplant? <laughs> uh, bite <poo. laughs> Yeah, I'm sure Ruka will catch it at some point because Ruka loves catching flies. He's like, he really enjoys that even if it's a really dangerous activity for him because he just like jump really, really high and it's, it looks really dangerous. I, I'm not completely out what, what I can draw as the purple. There's the eggplant and then there is... Uh, I, I'm going to draw basil because it seems really funny but I actually had purple basil at some point and it was it was more of black tone than this bright purple so can be now the really odd drawing here at the corner <laughs> because I'm running out of ideas it's really hard color to draw and also when the black comes on out it's are wild flowers eatable let's pretend that this is the purple puzzle but sad thing is I probably because it's the how it was 
like of course uh, basilis in nature it's green so i think because it was so funnily colored i think that was reason why it's not was so vigorous than the regular the regular basil so it didn't grow that well it actually died from a window so I have one spot left and one ink left. That's good. And I think the last ink is black. I will be really surprised if it's another violet. Yeah, Ruka. Oh, you catch the fly. Oh, did you? Oh god, he's so funny, dog. I just love him. He's just so funny. Like he has so like he has expressions. Like when he look at, look confused, he looks confused. It's it's just so funny that he looks at me like, and I can read his face at what he is like almost like thinking. Oh no, uh, Rupa. He, yeah. He decided that he wanted to eat his chew bone, chew bone right in the middle of my stuff, and he just like pushed them aside and decided that hmm, this is the good, good spot. Yeah, last one is the black, and it has nice golden glitter that is not going to show on the paper. And because it's pretty late here, and this will be last color I'll be please watching, and I will be end stream after this one. I want to go a bit like head up for that. But I can see that I could do, use this black. I'm also <laughs> hoping at some point I will. Uh, Use these bottles up so I can use them for fountain paintings. <laughs> ah, this is really light. This is more like grey. But I don't mind, I like grey ink as well. It's actually my ink colors. Uh, grey is one of my favorite as well. And I'm going to draw the little pots for these. Because in the, uh, in the family, if you buy uh, herbs or salad, they come with these little pots pots and you can like have them sitting in the water or like having them uh, or put, uh, put them to the ground or something you can like grow your uh, herbs from them yeah I think that's good I can't do anything with the black so Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. It was really, really fun and really nice to have so many in the stream, and it was also nice to do some casual streaming for a while because I have been doing so many uh, bureaucracy streams that it's <laughs> it was getting a bit boring. But I will sure do some other bureaucracy stuff soon. I have some commission. I need to finish it up. And this was also testing for this new setup, how it works on this different table. It actually works really well, so I'm quite happy about that. And it was also so nice to see new people on the stream as well. And this is my regular streaming spot, so next week I will be streaming uh, on the same time. So, Ruka. So thanks everybody for watching and hope I see you in my other videos as and stream as well. Bye.